Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Sports Tech. Uh, great to see you guys come back for another episode. Um, it's early here on a Friday evening. Uh, for this episode, I want to switch it up a little bit. Instead of talking sports, let's talk a little tech first. Uh, and the biggest news of the day here on Friday, uh, April 24th, um, courtesy of a great article here by The Verge, uh, Comcast announces that the Time Warner Cable, the deal with Time Warner Cable is now officially dead. Uh, after deciding they were going to merge together, which I believe was early last year, um, as of today now, the deal is dead. Um, a lot of concerns from the FCC and the Justice Department with uh, two big companies like that merging to cause they could co could cause problems for. I don't know what word I'm trying to use. I guess people, as far as what people would be charged for data, data caps, issues of that, and along those lines. Um, personally, I'm happy to see that to see this deal dead, which means I think it makes the internet a lot more open and a lot more safer for people. Um, but then I also heard today that uh, a very popular local uh, cable company based right here in Missouri is in, is in talks with Time Warner now. Uh, Charter Communications apparently is now in talks with Time Warner to uh, to maybe see about doing a merger deal. So uh, something to stay tuned for. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more to this coming soon. But uh, that's the biggest news of the day. That's just the biggest thing going on right now in tech that I wanted to share is kind of kicking off because it was really fresh in my mind a lot today and I wanted to share my thought share my thoughts about that um a couple other big things uh sports wise the NBA playoffs continue tonight um after I know last night the Warriors swept the Pelicans and I don't know offhand who's playing tonight but I know uh the Warriors are looking good um let me say this about the team in the playoffs that I saw play last night I saw the Boston Celtics play against the Cavaliers last night um Brad Stevens, I give him a lot of credit. Brad Stevens is doing a, a pretty good job in Boston. And I don't think a lot of people really are noticing. Of course, I don't mean, you know how many fans are really NBA fans I know of as of now, except for maybe a few people, maybe Chris Popst. If you watch this, Chris, maybe you agree with me. Um, but Brad Stevens has got those guys in Boston playing pretty hard. Um, I was I was really impressed with him. Evan Turner had a good game last night. Um, despite they did end up losing, but Evan Turner had a good game. Uh, Isaiah Thomas has been playing well ever since he got traded over there from Phoenix, from the Phoenix Suns. Um, a lot of other guys when they have in that team. Uh, Marcus Smart was playing pretty decently in the series, so uh, I think Boston's going to be on their way to to getting better. It's taking them. It's going to take them a few years. I think Brad Stevens has got him on the right track. I was a little skeptical about him going to the NBA, but it looks like he's doing good. So I'm happy to see that for a for a good storyline in the NBA. Uh, I guess the last other little thing I just wanted to kind of get my opinion about for this. Um, Tony Romo was quoted uh, to say at an event that uh, Dallas is going to win the Super Bowl in uh, this next upcoming season. Yeah. I don't know if I'd be making big assumptions like that, Tony. Uh, I mean, it's nice, you know, good for the fans and good for people to, to get out there to say that kind of stuff. But yeah, I don't really know too much about that one. Um, still got a lot to prove, man. Whole lot to prove. And I know Cowboys fans may, that watch this are probably going to be mad at me, but uh, Romo still does have a lot to prove, in my opinion. Um, that team did really well last year, but they lost to Marco Murray, which was a good balance of their offense. So it'll be interesting to see with the draft coming up next Thursday, April 30th, moving on through that weekend, to see what they're going to do in the draft. Um, and I'm going to be talking about the draft a lot more starting on Monday show and Thursday night show. I may be doing a. I may be doing an early episode of Sports Tech for uh, before Thursday night to kind of get my final thoughts about the draft. Um, and I may do be doing like a live tweeting on, on the draft. So be sure to follow me. Uh, my my uh, my Twitter handle at Sports Guy One Seven Seven at Sports Guy One Seven Seven for Twitter. So be on the lookout for that. But uh, that's basically it for this week. I just wanted to give my thoughts about a few things about uh, the deal with Time Warner and uh, Comcast going south again. With Charter apparently getting in the mix now for this, it's going to be pretty interesting to see what's going to happen. So, uh, more to come. A lot more to come, as the way of the internet world usually does. Um, it's, very, it's very interesting to see what's going to happen with that. It's going to be interesting to see what, uh, you know, if television's even going to, I guess, remotely exist 10 years down the way. Because more and more things are going to online, to, from like Hulu to Netflix, with how popular it is. And other shows are going online. So... 
leave me a comment down below if you guys are interested in, if you guys are interested in uh you know the Comcast Comcast Time Warner deal thing going bad. I think it's I think it's got a potential for big things down the road for uh, the way we we view our content, we view our shows, and that kind of thing. More stuff maybe going strictly to the internet and not getting away from television, because more stuff can be you know go straight to like Netflix or Hulu. I mean, look at the success of House of Cards. Um, you know, you know Netflix took a chance on that and it's done amazingly well for them. So uh, yeah, just just something to think about. If you got any thoughts about that, leave me a comment down below to let me know what you think. Um, but that's it. I just wanted to share a few thoughts about that for this Friday edition of Sports Tech. So, hope you guys have a great time. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, stay safe out there if you're getting out. I know there's some chance of possibly some severe weather tomorrow. So, if you're out and about, be safe. Uh, be safe. Uh, keep an eye to the sky and keep an eye on your phone too. If you have a if you're the KFES 12 weather app, just see uh, just see about you know what's going on as far as the weather goes. They're not a sponsor, by the way, for that. Uh, but yeah, just keep an eye. Be safe this weekend. Um, have some fun. And I'll see you guys on Monday with a brand new episode. Till then, have a good weekend. Later, guys.